Hey guys, welcome back to another MixLessons.com video quick tip. I'm Des Asante, and I've got a real short one for you today, a real quick one. Um, something that's another, another time saver in the sort of theme of our, uh, you know, speeding up your workflow that we've I've done a few uh, quick tips about that. And this one is save your plugin presets. If you've dialed in a tone or an effect or a sound that you find really works on a certain type of track, save these things as presets. It's dead easy to do. It, it takes up no hard drive space virtually whatsoever uh, and and there's really no excuse not to but it will allow you in the future to get right back to that spot you left off and then you can tweak from there as the individual circumstance sees fit so real simple i've got a lead vocal up here um uh, from a tune by katrina james and let me just play a couple bars of that here so you can get a vibe for what i'm working with Okay, so I've got a uh, pull tech style EQ um, on that vocal and that I'm just using for the sake of example here, okay? And let's say I really dialed that in just nice and on this type of female vocal that sits in that kind of freak range in the frequency spectrum that this uh, plug-in, that this EQ setting tends to be very, very uh, ideal. So all I want to do is go up in here and save this as a preset. I can go in here and give it a name. I can even what I recommend that you do is name it specifically like per per project so that later on a year later when you say man what was that EQ I used on Katrina's voice back in the day you can go into your presets and and see well here let's say Katrina James vocal and save that as a preset and uh, now anytime I want to, this is the JJP, by the way, the, uh, from Waves, the Jack Joseph Puig collection, who's, if you don't know who Jack Joseph Puig is, then uh, then you've got a little bit more YouTubing to do before the day is out. Um, but he's got, he's got a, a beautiful signature series collection of plugins from Waves that I highly recommend. If the budget allows, get them because they're really, really good. So, so now anytime, let's say, for example, I go to another track here randomly and I go and I go under... Uh, EQs and I look for the Pui. Yeah, where is it? Oh shoot! <laughs> Let's find out what that plugin was. That was Pui Tech. Okay, so let's go over to this other track right here and look for the Pui Tech. There it is. And if all is well, I should be able to go in here. And load my Katrina James vocal preset. And there it is. Okay, so I've loaded the preset, the controls have snapped into place, and now I can start off from where I left off in a previous mix, and I can tweak to taste. So hopefully you find that useful. It's a real simple trick. Maybe you're already doing it, but it's the little things that add up to, uh, to a really quick workflow and uh, a really good experience. And the whole goal is to get to the fun part and quicker and, uh, and to minimize the laborious, uh, labor-intensive aspects of mixing. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you on the next quick tip. As mentioned, MixLessons.com is part of the Tech Muse Academy. To learn more about the Tech Muse Academy or to subscribe to the Tech Muse podcast, visit www.techmuse.ca.